right, we're going to talk. We're going to talk about everybody's favorite subject, which is social media, and more specifically, sports social media, because there's nothing like the people that hide behind the random pictures of football players on social media. And more specifically, I'm going to talk about for the Scotland women's team. And I was telling you this before I came on. I wrote the note down as social media mores because I had to remember myself that we want to talk about that. How good is it having the like the women that you have supporting you guys? Because every time there's on Twitter, there's always the same players' mums. It's always Tomo's mum, Chloe Rowley's mum, Hannah Smith's mum's one. She always she messaged the podcast after Hannah came on, so they're so supportive of what we did. But they're always just fighting your court. And I tell you, I would not take on any of them in any form of conversation or Twitter war ever. In fairness, it's probably our dads. Like our dads are absolute warriors behind like Twitter. Like my yeah, dad and- loves a retweet or a comment. Some of the things I'm like, oh, dad. <laughs> so you wouldn't recognise the dad squad as well because they're hide they're hid behind like pseudo names like this Dave the Diver that's yeah. gone sad. We've got Infinity Mountain you guys. Just outed that. He's, he's, he's hiding if you just him. <laughs> yeah, all the hidden yeah, names. Yeah, dad's quite active as well. Yeah, Infinity Mountain guide. <laughs> <laughs> the I've had to get my dad in trouble before. Well, especially so after like I don't know if a selection comes out or whatever, and like my dad was retweeting things that would say like Rona Lloyd in them, so it'd be like Robert Lloyd retweeted like Rona Lloyd I'd be like no I was literally calling and being like you can't do that like people know that you're my dad (laughs) (laughs) Um, they're funny but they are they're so supportive like we're so lucky like we call them the little parent fan club like they've all got this Facebook group where they like meet up and come to games and like we'll go and play in Italy or France and stuff and the parent fan club will be there they actually showed up to a shirt presentation in Italy and some of the parents mine included had had maybe four too many pints to be at a international shirt presentation <laughs> yes um, but no they're yeah they're absolutely brilliant like we're so lucky and it's funny because like even like Jenny's mum and dad came to see us play in Italy when Jenny had done her ACL and wasn't playing and yeah they all like you'll get a hug from somebody's parent after the game even if yours aren't there like it, it's really special actually that sounds like the most wholesome <laughs> Facebook group chat I've ever heard no it's and not I it's just about pints Oh, even better. <laughs> I'm trying to find some examples of Dave the Diver, but so far it's quite me. <laughs> it's um, is it? I think it's Thomas' mum that I see the most. She retweets most of the work tweets that I put out. Obviously, because oh, Tom was the ambassador. Right? <laughs> yeah, is, it, is, yeah. it, is it Susan? Susan. Susan is yeah. active. <laughs> Susan is a Twitter force. Like I worry for my job when I see Susan active on Twitter. Like Susan could have my job, and I'd be powerless oh. to stop her. You need to add Susan on Facebook. That is where Susan really gets her kicks. Oh, this is a cute one from Dave Diver. Good luck, ladies. Believe in yourself and you can win. <laughs> so motivational. You've like motivated the team, Dad. Go on. <laughs> I might I might phone your dad if I've ever got a big life affair coming up and just be like, Dave, feeling a bit insecure here. Tell me how I'm gonna do well in this situation. Yeah. You know, he could provide some information. I'm I'm now gonna try and find Rona's dad. Do you know what? I'm, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do a special podcast. I'm gonna get like seven of them on the pod. And we're gonna discuss the fans of women's rugby. And it's just gonna be like a ten like a twenty minute podcast about the glory that is the Scotland women's rugby team, just from the parents. Oh god, they would they would love their time in the limelight. <laughs> oh they every, would every every player must nominate one parent to come on and we'll just have chaos for thirty minutes. Imagine just all the little faces on the screen. <laughs> Oh yeah, we make sure we we need to have a player in it just to like moderate what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, I'll just I'll just send you for the feedback, and I'll be like, Rona, what of this can fly and what can't fly? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. Try to send it to the SRU as well. That's probably right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say when. <laughs> Rona, what's your dad's handle? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go follow Dave the Diver right now. Since we get off the podcast, Twitter's there. <laughs> Oh, I need to find it. <laughs> that's is it a... Sorry, carry on. Is it an unusual handle? Yeah, it's it's an army number, so it, it cannot be easily tracked. <laughs> oh, this is so I must have liked his. For the, for the audio listeners right now, all we can see is Sarah just looking really intently at a bright light at her phone as she's scrolling oh, through Twitter. <laughs> Okay, I'll put it down, but I'll right, find it there. Just send, just send a bunch, and then I'll, or I'll go through them, and then when we drop this podcast, I'll just start throwing them out throughout the week. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just start tagging them on stuff on Twitter. I'll be like, at Dave the Diver, what did you think of this week's episode? 
<laughs> you'll get some honest, you'll get some brutal feedback. It's like not normally a listener, but this one was passable. So thanks, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like we've got to talk about social media, and then this is more. I asked Hannah the same question. What advice? And you, you've touched on it quite nicely already, Rona. What advice would you give to young female athletes, especially with the what of a better word, arseholes that do happen to populate social media? Like, how would you tell young females to interact with social media or how to not interact with social media? I think, Bond, you're looking at me. Does that mean, <laughs> should I take this one away? The, like, I think it's a tough one because, like, our life is so, like, social media is such a huge part of our lives these days. And especially for the youngsters, like, some, like, girls I know that are, like, 19, 20, like, their screen time's, like, horrendous. Like, they're, like, girls these days and young boys, like, they're on their phone a lot and a lot of it can be pretty toxic but I think we need to remember like on social media like we decide what we can see in terms of if there's somebody like I've, if, if I see somebody that tweets something sexist or whatever like I'll just mute them or I'll unfollow them and, and block them or whatever like and I'll just do it then and there because it's not like it's not something that you need and yeah I think you choose what's on Jesus your feed Christ. you choose what you can see so just choose what you expose yourself to and don't expose yourself to things that like don't make you feel good. Sorry, yeah. I'm fiddling about with the light. Oh, I'm listening. I'm just fiddling about with the light. Oh, no, Sorry, I'm just wearing your light show. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those wee, I can't move it because my camera's touching my computer. It's one of those, like, you know, those wee TikToker ring lights? Yeah. You know, you're, like, you're, you're setting up a podcast on a budget and you set yourself like a budget of like eight quid. And you're like, I will make a, I will make a, a podcast to you out of this. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if I ever make a Twitter, a TikTok account for the page, you'll know what has been filmed on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, sorry, no, right at the end there. So you, I've, I've completely we're gonna go again what was your last sentence I completely missed it and I've now confused myself talking about TikTok oh no just that you like you choose what you expose yourself to on social media and if somebody's putting out something that you don't like or that doesn't like make you feel good then you mute them you unfollow them like you yeah you don't have to expose mm -hmm. yourself to that I will I will second that the most satisfying thing you do is mute somebody because they don't know you've muted them so they just tweet at you relentlessly and you just cannot see it <laughs> or like I just give people the silent treatment like there's a sp specific like thing that I could think of is like a boy that like I was he was on the men's rugby team at uni like he like tweeted was tweeting like really sexist things about women's football but then was like I don't know like messaging me being like like congratulating me on Scotland things and it's like no you can't like pick and choose when you're an ally for women's sports people like that it's just like yeah you you mute you block like you do what you do but I think yeah it's just kind of regulating what's on your personal social media I guess Mm -hmm. Bonds, I, any any extra advice? No, echo what Rona said. You just tailor your experience and try not get bogged down by it. Like I do know a few pals have looked at it, and you kind of get sucked in, or you have a not a weak moment, but you're you kind of get drawn into it, and it's just really not worth it. Mute mm -hmm. it. Make sure that you just follow who you want to follow and what is relevant to you sometimes you can't avoid it um and you will see some things that are just quite hurtful but use it to channel into your next game or whatever no completely agree the thing that i i try to make people remember as well is because obviously i've not got any negative comments yet but i know they'll probably they'll come at some point with a podcast is for everyone the thing we used because i used to work in restaurants so what we used to we used to say is for every negative review there's about 20 people that have had a good experience that just don't tell you about it. So just look at it that yeah. way. Yeah. So, yeah, young female athletes take advice from this guy that has never played professional rugby that just ignore <laughs> what they say on social media. <laughs> but, you know, with the social media thing, that's something where, like, I feel like the boys get it so much harder than us because there's so many less people watching our games and stuff, whereas, like, some of the stuff that I've seen about, like, male athletes are, like, it's, yeah, it's so hard and there's like a, as well right now anything that comes up on your instagram about the vaccine or coronavirus you get a pop-up saying like this might not be accurate information like if they can spot it that easily then why aren't we like regulating racism better online or abuse better online like i think com social media platforms need to do a lot more as well mm -hmm. yeah 